Now, imagine yourself a visitor from some other and quite alien planet. You approach the Earth with no preconceptions. Is the place inhabited? At what point can you decide? When we look at the whole Earth, there are no signs of life. We must examine it more closely. If there are intelligent beings, maybe they create engineering structures which can be seen at a resolution of a few kilometers. Yet, at this level of detail, even a great river valley seems utterly lifeless. There's no sign of life, intelligent or otherwise, in Washington, D.C. Or Moscow. Or Tokyo. Or Peking. If there are intelligent beings on Earth, they have not much modified the landscape into regular geometrical patterns at kilometer resolution. But when we improve the resolution tenfold, when we begin to see detail as small as a hundred meters across, the size of a football field, the situation changes. Many places on Earth seem suddenly to crystallize out, revealing an intricate pattern of straight lines, squares, rectangles, and circles. Canals, roads, Circular irrigation patterns all suggest intelligent life with a passion for Euclidean geometry and territoriality. On this scale, intelligent life can be discerned in Boston and Washington and New York. At 10 meter resolution, we also discover that the earthlings like to build up At twilight or night, other things are visible. Oil well fires in the Persian Gulf, or the bright lights of large cities. And at meter resolution, we make out individual organisms, seals on ice flows, or people on skis. Intelligent life on Earth first reveals itself through the geometric regularity of its constructions.